Modern Miss Huxtables, Modern Miss Huxtables, Modern Miss Huxtables. So, as I stated in my straight styling products video, and as I just said, I probably need to get a new blow dryer. And as I was blow drying my hair, I thought to myself, wow, I've had this blow dryer for probably like 12 years. I've had this blow dryer for a really long time. So I'm working through blow drying the second half of my hair to show you all lovely viewers and subscribers. And my baby here, she was struggling. She was really, she was starting to make noises and gurgling noises and struggling and you you ladies know you ladies know what do you do when the when the blow dryer cuts out or there's a problem this is your best friend right here that reset and test button you just keep pressing that reset you keep pressing that reset and test reset and test till it comes back to life resuscitate her she passed away what are the uh, what are the odds that when I make my channel and I finally come to you guys to film the video on me straightening my hair, what are the odds that she passes away in the midst of me doing that with one side of my hair blow dried and the other side not? She uh, this this video is really special to me now. It's really special to me because my blow dryer died. I've never had a blow dryer die. Especially in the middle of me doing my hair. I mean, it is not coming. It is. It was making noises. It wasn't getting. It was. This blow dryer like died. She has passed on. So this was the Revlon 1875 Ionic Ceramic. She passed away. I just need a. Mo she has been with me for so long. Like. So. I got in my car, drove down the street to the beauty supply <laughs> so that I could finish this video for you guys and got a new blow dryer. So Revlon has passed away, introducing <laughs> the new birth, <laughs> the birth of 3500 Titanium Turbo, what brand is this? I don't even, Red Pro brand. So I'm going to take this out of the box and put an attachment on it and try this bad boy out. This is this is our new baby. We just had a baby. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to take this out of the box and put it in and finish blood drying my hair to show you guys. <sighs> Woo! Okay guys, introducing the new blow dryer. <laughs> 3500 titanium turbo so I'm gonna finish um, blow drying on the warm setting of this at high to finish this side of my hair that's still damp so <laughs> I'll come back and show you it blow dried and start straightening okay guys so this is um, fully blow dried with my new blow dryer <laughs> so This is with all of the hair blow dried straights. And this hair probably got a little bit straighter because this hair stayed damp for longer and I had to go run to the beauty supply. <laughs> so this side will probably end up being straighter, but it's okay. Um so there you have it. As I said, the hair is really light, really fluffy, really bouncy. I really like the coloring. Looks good. Looks very healthy, thick, shiny. So now I'm going to start um, straightening. So what I'm going to do is plug in my, hopefully this doesn't die at me because I've had this for a really long time too, plug in my one and a half inch um, Chi flat iron um, so that can get heated. And then I'm going to put Chi silk infusion on each of the different sections of my hair. This is what I use as a heat protectant. So I'm going to section my hair off again into six areas and that's how I work through my hair. Then the things that you're gonna need for um, this step are, if you like to chase your hair, if your hair gets frizzy, you can chase the hair with a rat tail comb. I don't really normally do that because I don't mind it being a little bit bigger, not so bone straight, but if you wanted to chase, which means like take hair and go through it and use the rat tail comb under the flat iron you need a rat tail comb and then um that's it just your clips again to section off and then a flat iron 
and whatever heat protectant you want to use. I use Chi Silk Infusion. So here we go. Okay, so as my flat iron's getting hot, I'm just going to go ahead and make some sections again. And this is going to help just to make sure I do each section neatly. So I just parted the hair like that. And I'll do this box in the front last, like going bit by bit. So just kind of like to twist the hair and make these bun things to section it off. So take a banana clip, clip that, and I'll do that to the other side as well. Clip over here. Then I'll clip all the way down the back. Now, if I had like a friend here that lived here or my sisters, I would flat iron like all the way across. I wouldn't put this part down the middle, but it's easier for me to work in quarter sections like that when I'm doing it myself. So, probably make Let's see, two more sections. So make this a section, which I'll probably have to do in two parts when I straighten, but just to get it organized. Oh, and also while I'm doing this, let me say, some people ask me when I put up my um, straight hair when I talked about this straight hair styling product, some people wanted to know like how long does it last? How long do I go between straightening again? So like I said, I primarily leave it straight in the winter months and it lasts for two to three weeks. I don't really put hair, heat on my hair more than twice a month. If I had like a special occasion or I was going out with my boyfriend and doing something like really special, sometimes I'll do like um, curls with my smaller flat iron. But other than that, I, I would not put heat on my hair in between doing this for washes, and I normally would go two to three weeks. Some people ask me about, like, when if they work out and, you know, the hair getting, I guess, kind of messed up or frizzy. Normally, I would just put coconut oil on my roots if they were getting really untamed and frizzy and tie it down really, really tight at night, and that normally makes my hair relax enough to keep wearing it. Um, it, do it doesn't get perfectly straight again, but I'm okay with that. I rather that my hair, you know, I rather work with my hair than work against it. I don't believe for me personally in putting heat on my hair every day or trying to repress out my edges every time I work out and stuff like that. So that's normally what I do. Some people ask me about using like peppermint oil and tea tree on the scalp. You can do that to just kind of refresh it and, and cleanse it in between workouts or something, but be sure to dilute your essential oil, sometimes that can irritate people's scalp. So I would recommend like putting the tea tree or peppermint in some jojoba or coconut oil or sweet almond oil or something just to dilute it a bit so it's not too harsh directly on your scalp. But those are my recommendations for that. So I'm going to work through each section and then I use another clip to kind of clip up the hair that I'm not pressing. So I put the Chi Silk Infusion about that amount if that shows up because it's kind of clear, not too much on each section that I'm working through, especially the ends. This really helps the flat iron to glide over the hair smoothly and also of course serves as a heat protectant. I love the way that it smells too, I like, it reminds me of when I used to get my hair done as a 
like in high school or as a little girl, they normally use the chi, silk infusion. Okay, so then I'm going to take each section one by one, clip the extra hair up. And starting from the back, take the flat iron, start at the root, go over that two, three times, then bring the flat iron down. As I said, you could do the chasing method, which would be combing through and drawing the flat iron behind it. That can help to get rid of frizz or if you have more tightly curled hair. Okay. And that's really all I do. I don't go over it too, too many times. It's pretty much, didn't mean to do that. That's all that I do. Working my way up little little section pieces by little section pieces so once again closest to the scalp and my hair feels incredibly soft it feels really really good I love henna treatments I wish I could do them more often, but it's kind of labor intensive and it takes a while also to clean up like the bathroom and everything, so. Okay, so. Flat iron again and work it down. And as I think I mentioned in a video before, this is why I really like the bigger flat iron, especially with the length that my hair is at now. It's just much easier for me to make sure I'm not gathering too much hair to get it snagged on the sides or anything. I can gather a good amount and pass it through the, the plates without any snagging or any trouble, whereas with the smaller one, it's a little bit harder. So it just makes life a little bit easier. So let me see if I can turn to the back. Hopefully this is in the camera to show you guys. How that's straightening. Then I just go through each section like so, and that's why I said, like, you know, the banana clips and sectioning really helps me a lot. Because if I need to take a break halfway through my hair, or go do laundry, or fix dinner, I can. And after I do this straightening video for you guys, I'm probably going to get some amla so I can do a tutorial on that next. And then my hair should be curly for the rest of the summer. So hopefully this will show you guys that wanted to see how I straighten my hair. Show you guys that. And then I'll don't worry, I'll be making my video for how I do my... Um, Wash and goes too, so don't worry. It's next on the agenda. Okay. So, yeah, this is what I do. area by area and I like the Chi flat irons I considered getting a I think it's the GHI ones are the ones that get even hotter than the Chi I believe and one of my hairstyles in Philadelphia was like Allison you do not need that you don't need anything hotter than a Chi so don't even try it <laughs> so I like just the regular good old-fashioned Chi I've been using this for a really long time as my straightener
I know it's kind of odd or weird that I have to hold my hair in my mouth, but it works. Okay, so that's that back section of hair fully pressed out. And just to show you guys what I meant by the chasing, just putting the flat iron over the fine tooth comb like that. So that is the back section fully pressed out. Now we're going to move on to the next section on this side. Take that out, brush it with a paddle brush, apply our Chi Silk Infusion, probably in a bit more because this side I put a lot more hair in that. Okay, and then the same like before, we're going to work through each bit a bit at a time. So I'm going to continue going through each section, pressing it out like so. So here is with two sections done on this side. And you see good, good movement, good body. And I'm going to finish off with this section in the front. Oh, I need to put she on it putting chi and then pressing. Okay, so this is this last front section. And we're going to work our way through it just like that, making parts like that, and then applying the flat iron to the scalp area a couple times, and then working it all the way down. These little pieces here, you guys can watch my, my video on edges. I don't stress out too much. I mean... You know, if it doesn't lay down perfectly, that's when I'll go back with my... In that video, I talk about my Aveda control paste. I'll just go back with like a board bristle brush and my Aveda control paste and just lay that down and wrap it tightly. Rather than try to like kill it with heat. That's what we're doing. Okay, then you know, part again.
so. It's starting to come together, so I'm gonna knock out this final little bit up here. So I'm done with this half of my hair, and I hope my camera can pick it up. But I just wanted to show you the coloring, and there's just a certain richness that the henna creates in terms of hair that's really, really shiny and healthy looking. I mean, it just looks extremely nourished and vibrant. I don't know if my camera will really do it justice, but just, you know, that really high, beautiful gloss and sheen that just comes from internally healthy looking hair as opposed to putting a lot of grease or oil on it. I mean, it just has a beautiful bounce and fluffiness to it very manageable and just a beautiful sheen beautiful beautiful sheen I love henna for that quality and the color just really helps to enhance and make the hair look so much more rich while also strengthening and, and nourishing the hair so it's henna is just great I, I really love it I really really love it so that's that half of my hair done I'm just going to try to step back to show you the whole, get all of it in. And I'm not going to be able to get all this shirt in, but let me look in the mirror. It's been growing since the last time I did my length checks. There's quite a bit past the 20 inch mark on the back of this shirt now, so that makes me happy. But more importantly, the hair is looking really healthy. really wish I could do henna more so yeah so I'm gonna press out the other side just following that same method working each section up towards the top and I will show you the finished result we are on this last section here at the front and I'm continuing to follow the same method of parting the hair Try my best to get these little edge pieces. continue parting and I'm almost done just have this section left to go after I make my way through this section here almost there finally done so this is the finished product, the hair all the way pressed out. Let me step back so you can see all the way. So the last two steps that I do to kind of finish it off is take my Aveda control paste that I showed you guys in my edge control video. I like it because it's a bit more moisturizing and tacky as opposed to being like super shiny and go jam gelish looking like the um, olive oil edge control one can be. So I like this after straightening my hair when I just want the little edges under here to lay down that really aren't even that visible. I just take a bore bristle brush. and just brush them down. So rather than try to kill them with heat some more or go over them a million times, they're not going to lay perfectly straight or 
extremely strict like if I would have a relax or something but I just learned to accept it <laughs> So just taking some of that and then I would wrap it like really really tight and that also helps to lay them down and kill some of the frizz as well. If I have any flyaways like around the top or whatever you can just take the residue from the control paste and pat them down. So that's what I do on those areas. And then I need to clean my scarf, but if I didn't have to go anywhere like right after, I would immediately wrap my hair just to lay it down and get it to set a bit more. But always be sure to clean your scarf when you clean your hair. Like put it in some, a light like soapy water so that it's clean and doesn't have grease and build up so that your hair will keep its body and not get greasy. Also what I'm going to do as a just light finish to it is add some you heard it here first on Modern Miss Huxtable. I'm going to put you guys on to a little secret. Um, Argon oil, of course, really hit the market huge in terms of Moroccan oil and um, using Argon oil as a moisturizing treatment. But my little secret, <laughs> I like to use something called Barberry Fig Seed Oil. It actually um, has more benefits. It's actually somewhat more beneficial than Argon oil for your hair as a moisturizer. So it's called... <laughs> Um, if this zooms in, Barberry Fig. Camera, don't you want to focus? No? Well, you can message me. It's called Barberry Fig Seed Oil. It's quite expensive, but it's really, really good. Um, this particular brand that I have, it comes in a dropper like this, and it absorbs into the skin and the hair really, really quickly without leaving it greasy. When my hair is straight, I really like to use argan oil and this oil because it's not as heavy or greasy it allows the hair to be moisturized and conditioned without feeling weighed down so I just take a couple drops of this from the dropper so I literally just took two drops beautiful shine that like literally absorbs right in and I'm just applying that to the edges to the edges to the ends of my hair sorry It doesn't quite smell as good as Argan oil, but I really like it. Okay, so just a little bit of that on the ends and overall as a finish to give it a light oil sheen and moisturize. And I'm going to clean a headscarf and then wrap this. So I hope you found this helpful. I know this was much requested. Um, hope I did okay filming it. I'm not the best at filming or editing, so I, I try. But, um... There is the finished results. So see you guys next time. The next video I'll do is probably a tutorial on how I use Amla on my hair. And then I definitely will be coming soon with how I do a wash and go for my hair in its curly state. So hope all is well. Take care. Please, please subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Modern Resexables.